Sketch a graph of the hyperbola whose equation is 4y squared minus 25x squared equals 100. First, let's take a look at the standard form of the hyperbola equation when you've got the y term first. And that will look like y minus k quantity squared over b squared or a squared. It really doesn't matter what you call it. This b is the, um, the value that will go up or down, up and down from the center. And we'll see that when we graph this. Minus x minus h quantity squared over a squared equals 1. Now the h and k do matter because the h always sticks around with the x and the k sticks around with the y. So that we'll have the center of the hyperbola at hk. Now, in this example, uh, h and k are both going to be 0. But let's do what we can to get it to look like this standard form. So let's take and divide everything by 100. So we have 1 on the right-hand side. And that simplifies then to y squared in the numerator and 25 in the denominator. So I've got y squared over 25 minus 25 over 100 simplifies as 1 over 4. So x squared over 4 and then equals 1. Now just to just drive this home, I'm going to write this in this standard form. y minus 0 quantity squared over 5 squared minus x minus 0 quantity squared over 2 squared equals 1. So now we've got this in exactly the same form where we can pick off the b and the a and the h and the k. Again, h and k is just 0, so I'm going to start putting this down. I'm going to put the center at 0, 0 because that's what we have here. We've got h of 0 and k of 0. And now we're going to go left or right, left and right from the center, two units. So out to here and out to here. And then up or down from the center, five units. So way up, let's see, two, four, five. Way up here and way down, two, four, five, way down here. All right, that lets us draw our uh, rectangle. And this is just a guide. This rectangle is not part of the graph. I'm going to draw the graph in green. And then we can draw our diagonals through the, the rectangle. It's going to go up like that and down. And sometimes some books teach it as just find the center and then you've got this equation of these asymptotes and that's fine either way i prefer to draw this box it's a nice it's actually an, an easy way to to sketch out the graph of the hyperbola and then down in the other direction you gotta you do have to pay attention to the slope there a little bit all right, now it's y term first, so we know that this is going to open up and down. So there's a little memorization that you have to do. I like to memorize as little as possible, but that's something you can't get away from. If the y term is first in the hyperbola, then you're going to have to go up and down. So that's going to go right here, starting at the edge of the box there. And opening up and it's also going to open down and and this is valuable because really hyperbola equations although the graphing of them it's very it's going to be a lot easier to graph them from that standard form a lot of times they'll start in a, in in this polynomial form and then you'll have to adjust it a little bit and I can see my box wasn't perfect there. So my hyperbola got a little bit tainted, shifted over. But, but that's the idea. We have 
graphed this, we've, we've taken this polynomial form, transformed it into the standard, standard form, and then sketched a graph of the hyperbola.